Well, good morning, everyone. We're here this morning at Ricardo's Tomatoes and Strawberries in Port Macquarie. It's just a 10 minute drive out of the CBD. Uh, it's very close to get here. And hey, what a beautiful morning. We're gonna catch up with Anthony this morning. He's the farm manager here. He's gonna give us a bit of a tour, have a look around the place. We're gonna find out all about what is going on here. So, hey, how are you doing? Good, Matt, how are you? Very good, Anthony, and you? Very well, thank you. Fabulous, yeah. well, very much looking forward to having a look inside and, uh, well, having a look around the whole place, actually. Absolutely. There's a lot to see. Well, you picked a nice morning for it. It's absolutely stunning here it's warming yeah. up already and uh, yeah looking forward to a good look around mm -hmm. all right shall we get moving absolutely let's, let's have do a look. it let's go so we are down here in the uh, strawberry crops at the moment yep and uh, I think the first thing you'll want to notice is that we grow our strawberries in a-frames ah yes which is uh, these things here now first things first this is uh, much easier on the back than uh, growing out of the ground. <laughs> okay. So if you come to our farm and pick strawberries, you don't have to bend down to get your strawberries. They're all, you know, up on this A-frame here, yep. which makes it very easy. Um, it's a hydroponic system, um, and hydroponics is very efficient, uh, water, water-wise and also space-wise, um, and very convenient as well. Okay. Mm. So all of so basically, just give us a quick run through, I guess, of how it works. So in terms of well, hydroponics, so we plant our uh, strawberry plants in these little cups here. I yep. can even pull one out for you. Okay. Um, and uh, literally you can see the roots are on the back there and yep. as we irrigate the water trickles down the back of each pipe there yep and um, you know the uh, the strawberry plants just uh, drink water off the back of the pipe and they flower up into the a-frame and uh, yeah it's um, it's a way of getting a lot more strawberries into a tighter space and uh, making use of all that light okay so this is this is a pretty huge greenhouse that we're in. Inside it is. Here. It how, is about half a hectare. This greenhouse. Half a hectare. So yeah. How many sort of strawberry plants would you say there are? In, in this here? in this greenhouse, uh, it's about thirty-eight thousand. Thirty-eight thousand plants. plants. That's right. Okay, so that's a lot of plants to get round if you're oh, coming yeah. here for the day. It is. <laughs> it is, and it makes for a lot of strawberries. You know. Absolutely. When you get fine weather like this, you get a lot of flowers coming out, and they set beautifully. Yep. And that's how you get this really big, uh, round, beautifully uh, shaped fruit, and. Um, you know, a strawberry like that is probably about two or three days away from being a nice deep red, very, mm. very sweet strawberry. Fantastic. Mm. So if we're coming here as visitors, so tell us how it works. So you, you, you get a bucket or something? Well, yeah, or? that's the good thing. So entry to the greenhouse is absolutely free. Okay. So we give you a bucket on the way in yep. and, um, and then customers come down and they pick what they like. And at the end, uh, back up to the shop and they weigh the strawberries on the way out. What about uh, eating on the way around? We discourage <laughs> we discourage eating. Yeah, if okay. one or two go missing, um, we're not going to call a lawyer. Right. So yep. it's all right. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, oh, that's great. And how how long do people normally typically spend inside here when they're cruising around? Honestly, um, you know, it uh, it depends on on how abundant the strawberries are. You know, yep. in winter when it's just a sea of red, you know, it can take them ten or fifteen minutes to fill a bucket. Yeah. Uh, when there's a real search on, you know, it can take them a bit longer, but that's that's the fun of it, isn't it? Mm, and the good thing is, um, you know, the adults get all the nice big fruit up the top here, and the kids get what's down low here. Yeah. Because obviously that's hard for us to get, and the the kids will the kids will clean up the um, the bottom of it, and the adults clean up the top. It's a perfect system. It's great for us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, and what what other kind of things do we do we use the strawberries for here? So we um uh well all our strawberries uh, are picked by visitors. Yep. And anything that is left over, we make it a jam. Ah. You'll notice up in the shop we've got um, uh, jars of strawberry jam. You buy two, you get one free. Yeah. Uh, we don't waste any strawberries here. Okay. Uh, any second grade fruit or um, you know that real oversupply when uh, when we're in season, mm. we send it all off into town and it gets made up into strawberry jam, mm. which we sell in the shop. Now I heard it's very nice stuff. I heard somebody really talking up your jam actually in an article I read. Uh, someone was talking about award-winning jam. I've I think heard was about mentioned, this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and scones as well. It sounded like uh, it sounded like the jam was pretty good. Yes. Well, we say that our, our Devonshire tea is pretty famous here. Right. Um, which is uh, obviously scones and jam and cream. Yep. Um, uh, we like to say we have the second best scones on the coast. Okay. Uh, the, the gong goes to uh, the scones in Moorland, so we don't tread on any toes. We say we've got the <laughs> second best scones uh, on the coast. Yep. And uh, if a journal in Sydney wants to disagree, then it's, <laughs> it's not our business. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And now for the exciting bit, actually taking getting some strawberries, which is the bit I've been looking forward to the most here. That's so, right. all right. So let's just have a stop here then. So. Where do I start? There's quite a few nice looking strawberries here I can see, Anthony. Which the red one would be better, your Matt. pick here? The red of the better. You want a nice deep red colour. That's where the sweetness comes from. So, yep. as red as possible. <laughs> as red as possible. Right. Okay. And then in terms of like, we just, where about yeah, do we Yeah, just slip cut? it right on the stem there. Okay. It'll fall right in your bucket. Yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Mm. All right. Next one. Let's see if we can find another nice uh, one here somewhere. Okay. Another one. one. Oh, didn't have to go very far. So you were saying before, Anthony, that these the strawberries, how, how fast do they grow again? Did you well, um, uh, from pollinating uh, to pick is about two weeks. Yep. So this right here is probably going to be a nice red strawberry in, in a fortnight. That's if the weather's good. Slightly longer if you get darker days. Mm. And how, 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 what's the biggest strawberry you've seen? A random question. Oh, I've <laughs> seen one as, as big as my fist. Well, you know? <laughs> Sometimes when, uh, when the weather's just right, they grow very big and shiny and, and beautiful. Right. And then what about, um, is it so big versus small? Smaller, smaller juicier and tastier? Smaller is sweeter okay. every time. Very that's good That's true of, of strawberries and it's true of tomatoes as well. Okay, excited to get into the greenhouse, Anthony, here. Okay, Matt, come on in. Wow. Here we are. Amazing. Yeah. This is the uh, tomato crop. This is our, our newest one, which is why you're in this greenhouse. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. How many greenhouses have you got all together here? We have here? three. Three total. Uh, so they're all separate crops and um, they're all planted at different times of year. Yep. And this, this happens to be our youngest, so it's looking pretty, pretty fresh and uh, very high fruit load at the moment. You'll see a lot of tomatoes there. A lot of tomatoes yeah. here. They're making my tomatoes at home look particularly very small right now. Well, we've been doing <laughs> it a long time. Yes. A long time. Well, that's a good question, actually. How, how long has the, has the business been here at Ricardo's? Well, yeah, we're a family business. We've, uh, the family has been here since 1980. Um, yep. And, uh, you know, three generations have, have been involved. And uh, we've been in tomatoes about 20 years. Mm. So we're, we're just now getting good at it. Yeah. yeah, and all of the tomatoes here that get grown, what, what happens to those after, uh, afterwards? Once Where do they go? We wholesale right up and down the mid-north coast. Yep. So as far north as Coffs Harbour yep. and as far south as Tara and Foster yep. and uh, everywhere in between. And what kind of things do, do we do? We go tomato sauces? Or? Oh yeah, absolutely. All, all the second grade fruit uh, that comes out of these sheds, we, yep. we don't waste it, we, we make it into products. So we have uh, posadas, pasta sauce, we have a really nice tomato soup. Yeah. And uh, a chili chutney and a and a tomato relish. Okay. Yeah. Is it as award winning like your jam? It is. Well? <laughs> yeah, it's all award winning. <laughs> Everything's all award winning. All award Our winning chef's here. Very good. Yeah. Very good to know. Yeah. Now, should we go and have a wonder? Now, yeah. first, first up, tell me what these what these um, the rails here are about. These are the so rails. These are the rails for our trolleys. Yep. Um, they're also our heating pipes. Okay. Um, so not a lot of people know this, but uh, tomatoes are a, uh, a a summer crop. Yep. Um, and the winter, uh, the temperature is just, it's, it's too low for tomatoes. Mm. So we, uh, in those winter months, we heat the greenhouse with these, um, uh, with these heating pipes. Right. It feels pretty warm in here already. That's how, right. How, heat, That's how hot right. does it get in here? Oh, in, the, in summer, it gets very hot. You know, we yep. ventilate as best we can. We do have shade screens that we can pull over. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it gets very hot. Um, now, they'll, they'll, they won't mind the low 30s. Mm. Um, you know, the tomatoes sort of, they're, they're a South American fruit tomatoes so they they like a warm humid sort of environment okay. so they're, 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 they'll push through the summer yeah right mm. and and i know that um customers as such can't come in here picking fruit and so forth That's right. because there's a number of reasons around that which um so just tell us it gives a little bit of a rundown of why we can't really have people in here as much as you as i'm sure you'd like to that's right well uh tomatoes are susceptible to certain um uh plant diseases and um you know, if they were to make their way in, we don't want them to spread. So, right, yep. um, you know, all our workers sterilise as they go through the crops. Yep. Um, and uh, we, we just can't have pickers in, unfortunately. Yep. Fair enough. Mm. Um, but you do, you do tours, though, don't you, here as well? That's right. 11 o'clock every weekday. Yep. Um, uh, they're, they're not running at the moment for COVID, but very soon we'll, we'll pick that up again. And, yep. and uh, any weekday at 11 o'clock, people can come on the tour. It takes about a half an hour. Yep. And uh, it finishes up in the strawberries and we hand out buckets and turn them loose at the end. Awesome. Yeah. And what, what's some of the feedback that you generally find? What's the general sort of trend of feedback that you get from people when they come to visit? Do they f go away learning lots of different yeah, things? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, the tour is very good for that. Um, most people ask, what, it, what is the secret to a, a, a good tasting tomato? Um, and uh, there's no secret really, you just have to pick the right variety of tomato for your, uh, your sort of um, uh, region and climate. Okay. But yep. the biggest thing is you've just got to pick that tomato nice and red. Mm. You know, you don't want to pick an orange tomato, you, you want it to ripen on the vine till it gets a nice deep red colour and then you pick it. Okay. And because we, we sell locally, uh, we don't have to ship at long distances, so we're able to pick that tomato, you know, nice yep. and red. Yep. Because we know it's going to hit the shelf 
uh, most of the time it hits the shelf on the same day. Yeah, brilliant. Mm. So you get a lot of tomato enthusiasts coming through to learn. Yeah, to we do. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, people come through asking for tips for their backyard <laughs> tomatoes. Um, I've probably got a, a few questions for you. We'll, we'll talk about that look, later. The, yeah. the one thing I tell them is uh, there is a rule of thumb with tomatoes. Uh, you want to you want to keep trimming the leaves. Um, trimming the leaves puts a bit of stress on them, and it makes them uh, when when they're under a bit of stress they they work harder on their fruit. Okay. So they'll put more energy into fruit and less into foliage. Right. So trim those leaves back, and uh, you want to count up how many trusses the vine has. Yep. So for example, this this plant has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, flowering and fruiting trusses. Yep. So you want to leave nine leaves, one for each truss, plus two for the plant. Okay. So on this particular plant with nine trusses, we'll leave 11 leaves. Mm, okay. And that is just enough to service the fruit load that it has, yep. um, while also putting a bit of stress on it and you'll find they'll work a lot harder on their fruit for you. Right, so too many leaves and uh, they're called suckers, I believe, is that right? There's the side branches? Oh, of... laterals. Oh, yeah, is this different? Yeah. I'm getting no, into we, a whole we take new all, field. We of... take all the laterals <laughs> off, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we want one continuous vine. We don't right. want all these different vines going everywhere. Yep. So okay. With the laterals, we pinch off right at the head there. I see, yeah. yeah. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Now, another question I wanted to ask you as well. I know um, you, the environment's obviously really key to, to, here, to your business as well, in Absolutely. terms of waste. And can you tell us a bit more about how, what that looks like? Um, the, uh, sorry, the... Sorry, talking about, yeah, just your being environmentally conscious and oh, I know you have okay. no waste Absolutely, and yeah. water and all of the way That's that you, right, you yeah. set up the, the, the farm. Here. Um, well, we are a very water efficient farm. Now, yeah. uh, with our tomato crops, we have two hectares of uh, greenhouse yep. and all that surface area feeds water mm. when it rains straight into our main dam. Uh, which, is, which is fed by a few reserve dams and uh, we've been doing our best to drought proof the property. Um, we also, to heat our greenhouse, we burn macadamia shells instead of coal. Oh, that's um, yeah, so that's, um, that saves emission and a lot, you know, it saves a lot of ash too. Absolutely. Which is pretty good. Yep. Um, but uh, hydroponics is all about growing more food with less resources. Mm. So uh, we can produce um, you know, the same amount of food, but uh, use a tiny, tiny fraction of the water, right. but also uh, a tiny fraction of the land space as well. Um, you know, uh, this, uh, this system, it produces more food per square meter, mm. which means, you know, to feed the cities, we, we can cut down less forest for farmland by growing more intensively. So I think it's time now, Anthony, to uh, sample some of perhaps what I've been waiting for the most, and that's uh, some of this amazing produce that you guys grow here. Well, Matt, there's no shortage of it. Uh, so, you know, we'll get in there and we'll touch it. <laughs> Especially the scones that? and the jam. Exactly. I want to see if it's as amazing as, uh, as, you know, as this award-winning lady said. All right, okay. into the gift shop. Starting to fill up Anthony in here it today. Is. Yep. It's only just opened. School holidays, nice and busy. School holidays. All right, ooh, into the good stuff. Oh, we're going this, okay. So, wow, I can see, okay, so here's, we've got some beautiful tomatoes here, the end product. That's right, mm. freshly picked, picked smell this morning, actually. They were picked this morning. That's right. They smell absolutely beautiful. So we've got, I see a few gold labels here as well, Anthony. Uh, yeah, we've won a few prizes uh, here and there at certain shows. Yep. Um, but we've got a tomato and basil pasta sauce. We've got uh, tomato paste and a passata and a very good tomato soup, which obviously sells a lot better in the winter months. Yes, I'm sure, yeah. yeah. And cherry tomatoes as well here we've That's got. That's right, yeah, we've yep. got cherry, cherries and baby romas and, okay. uh, and prunus romas right. as well. Fantastic. Yeah. And tell us a bit more about, we've got a huge range of produce here well, all together. Most of this stuff is, uh, is local. Yep. Um, it's all uh, you know, local produce and um, yeah, just, just various things to keep everyone occupied and yep. you know. Do you get a lot of people coming just to come to the store, to the cafe yeah, outside? Yeah, absolutely. Of, yep. Yeah, you've got people that come in every every couple of weeks to get their one item. That yep. you know, this is the only place they can get it, and they stock up, and then out the door they go. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And what about sort of like, do you ever get supply to local restaurants or any of that kind of thing around here? Yeah, or? yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You'll find um, uh, the one we're most proud of is uh, is the local CWA. Uh, on their scones, they'll buy big tubs of our strawberry jam. Okay. All the local CWA scones have uh, Ricardo's strawberry jam on. Right, so it really does get around. That's right, yeah. yeah I see the Ricardo's boxes down there we've got that's as well. Right, that's right, that's all our, um, uh, that's all our, uh, our jars coming back from 
from Eric who makes our, our produce. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Well, surely it's got to be time to taste some of this produce yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can wait it. any longer. Let's get all right, let's go and have a look. Ah, all right, let's take a seat down here. I'll take it, yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, fantastic. So we've got the jam again. Okay, nice. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah, Look at this. Seat. Yeah, if you take a seat as well. Here or here? Um, yeah, I think just there is fine, yeah. Great. So look at this, we've got the jam, little glazed cherry there as well. Ooh, warm, yep. scones. I feel like I'm on MasterChef. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. You're not going to have a scone as well? Oh, look, you, I'll tuck into one, yeah. You've probably had why enough. Not? You're going to have one too? Yeah, I why think not? You I think you should. Now, there's another question for you. Jam on first or... Or cream That's a good question, and uh, I'm sure there are various schools of thought. Um, I, I usually go jam first, then cream. Jam first, then cream? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to, just because I've got it on my knife already, yeah, I'm going to sure. go the opposite. I probably should know that as an Englishman, but you know. <laughs> All right, let's put a bit of this on. Mm, yum. Beautiful warm scone. Mm -hmm. I'll try a bit as well. Mm. Mm. Yum. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. 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 Really good. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, that is good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the jamming question. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you can buy online as well. That's right. Just head on to the website and yep. there's a shop front there. You can you can buy all our products. Magic. Now tell us a bit about Port Macquarie, Anthony. What what do you love about living here? You how, Have you lived here all your life in Port Macquarie? All my life, yep. All my life on this very farm, actually. Yeah, wow. Um, no, I love this region. Um, mainly the beaches, mm. you know. Yep. We've got coastal walks and beaches and we're very close to Crescent Head where you can go for a surf. Yep. I like to go up there for a surf on um, on Sunday mornings when the weather's good and yep. yeah, it's just a phenomenal place to live. And it seems like everything's really close, it's really you know, close by to everything, it's not Absolutely. a huge, huge drive. Absolutely, that's right. Mm -hmm. So coming here as a visitor, there's lots of things you can do in a, in a pretty short space of time yeah, as well. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are, that are really close by. Yep. I always encourage people to get up into the hinterland as well and, yep. and go see all the swimming holes and the, uh, and the lookouts and Vago Bluff and things like that. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. And since, um, I guess since COVID's hit, have you seen a huge spike in visitors? Has places got a Absolutely. lot busier? Or? Absolutely. We're very busy at the moment. Yep. Um, you know, people can't go overseas or, or to Queensland and, yep. you know, they're holidaying in the state, yep. which is great for people like us and, yep. you know, we welcome it. Of course, mm. yeah. So a lot of new new visitors that perhaps haven't been here yeah, before Yeah, definitely, at all. definitely. Yep. You know, and we go into town and the place is busy. Um, you know, a lot of the restaurants are, are, are full every night and, yep. and we think that's wonderful. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely awesome for the area. Yeah. yeah. Marvellous. Well, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for the beautiful jams and the tour and everything else. Anytime, mate. We and appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, all the very best for the future and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. I'll have to bring my kids next time. Yeah. They, uh, you might not have any strawberries left after <laughs> they've been in. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anthony. Alrighty, Matt. Thank you. Very good. Well, that's it from Ricardo's Strawberries and Tomato Farm, and what a fantastic tour it's been. I've got my, my tomatoes, I've got my beautiful award-winning strawberry jam, it was absolutely delicious. Looking forward to taking that home. And uh, yeah, I, to anyone who's coming to Port Macquarie, I'd say come and check this place out. Beautiful spot to visit, bring the kids, spend a few hours, and uh, go away with some beautiful homegrown produce. See you next time.